Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so today I'm going to do, as quickly as I can, uh, like a goldy, ready, um, autumn-y type look. I'm going to start by moisturising and I'm using the number 7 Protect and Perfect Day Cream. Um, it's really nice, really thick cream. I've tried to do this video now three times. The first time there was stuff falling from a cupboard behind me which automatically made me think that there's ghosts so I've been freaking out for the last couple of days the second time Mr Cooper came up and said oh we've got five minutes to be somewhere and so I, I hated him that day um, <laughs> Mr Cooper's used to me hating him by the way this is nothing new uh, the foundation that I'm using today for work as well is the Clinique Super Balanced Makeup um, and it's in 04 Cream Chamois the colour. Um, I'm going to use a Real Technique stippling brush. It's new, I treated myself. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Double Wear by Estee Lauder. I can. I like it, it's a really, really good foundation, but it's not so great for layering it up. Um, and it is like a medium to well, medium to good coverage. And this one, if I wanted to go sheer, I could go sheer. So I've just got a little bit of that makeup on the back of my hand and I'm just pushing it on where I feel I need more coverage. And I'm also going over the eyelids so that my eyeshadow has something to work with. So remember to blend in that line there because there's nothing worse than that foundation line and all it takes is a little buff with your brush. Okay, so that's foundation pretty much sorted. I'm not going to go too deep into my forehead today because I have to wear a baseball cap at work so I can kind of get, in a, get away with not doing my forehead. With my new fringe I can get away with not doing my forehead and not doing my brows as well. It's awesome! get a fringe girls okay so concealer then I'm going to go with a brightener today and I'm going to use Lumi Magic by uh, L'Oreal I've got this on the ferry it was kind of eight pounds or so on the ferry um, and it's a really good high street version of Touche Clat now I'm really 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 like hyper closes my eyes shut allergic to Touche Clat um, so I tend not to use that one, but I do like the effect that Touche Clat has. And this is a really good, really good duplicate for it. It's a, it, I think it's a really, really good highlighter. This one is in the colour... Mm -hmm. It doesn't say. But it's it's the main, I think they do like three colours, so they do like light, medium and dark. And this is like the light one. That's bizarre that they don't have the colour on there. Unless I've taken the sticker off. Wouldn't surprise me. And then I've got a concealer as well, just for the, the bits that I don't like being on show. So another good tip for your dark circles is if you dip your head like that, you can see those shadows. That's where you put your concealer for under eye. And then obviously with blemishes, scarring. And I like to go into my wrinkles as well. And then with a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, just buff it in. Concealer done. Okay, so eyeshadow then. I've really had fun actually playing around with these eyeshadows. Um, so the trend this autumn is like reds and golds and anything with like a warm tone. This is just a number seven eye colour brush, and I'm going to go a sleek with a sleek palette today. Look like this. 
gorgeous makeup really really nice makeup and really inexpensive as well this is the originals 594 palette and i'm going to start with as a base color this gold color down here um, and i'm just going to take that on that brush and go all over the eye so these are kind of metallic -y colors as well which are also really big so this is a Real Techniques uh, base shadow brush and I'm just softening down the edges so that it doesn't look like you've put it on with a crayon. Now obviously you need to, well not obviously, the sleek palettes, the sleek eyeshadows are really really soft so you get quite a bit of fall down with them if you don't tap off the excess stuff um, so just be careful of that I've got another one of the same brush which is what I used for my dark colour yesterday um, and then with this kind of rusty brown colour here really really gorgeous colour still really really metallic what I'm going to do is just place it on one side of the brush you'll get less fall down and less to have to clear out. I'm just going to go across the lash line and then into the socket a little bit and the brow bone, more the brow bone than the socket or the orbital bone sorry than the socket and kind of meet up with that line and then under the eye as well to create some kind of shape so then again with my uh, base shadow brush just blend and soften those edges because you want it to look although it's quite a dramatic metallic -y makeup you don't want it to look like forced on and then depending on how dark you want it is how many times you kind of reapply and blend. I like it quite so that you can see the two differences. And that will kind of do for that eye. And then the same on the other eye. And we are going quite high with this one. Not sure it was intentional, but we are. <laughs> and then in my other sleep palette, the Snapshots palette, there's a really gorgeous, like a rusty red colour just there. And I'm going to use ever such a tiny bit of that again on my number seven um, eye colour brush just on one side just on the on that bit there that outer corner just to kind of warm it up a little bit actually I'm going to take that colour under the eye as well. Like I said, this is kind of more of a party look, but I'm going to wear it to work. I don't care, and that's how I roll. Um, Okay, so back into the um, Originals palette, there's like a, a dusky khaki green colour as well, just there. And ever so, ever so lightly, on the same brush, just for a bit of definition, and, or uh, dimension, sorry, ever so slightly through that part there, and blend through. onto eyeliner and I'm going to do gel eyeliner today I've got uh, collections 
it back when it was collection 2000 just a brown liquid eyeliner and on a real techniques uh, fine liner brush I'm just going to use the end of the brush to scoop a little bit out and pop it on the back of my hand like that and then use the brush to kind of warm it through a little bit so that it becomes a little bit more fluid so it's not like trying to put plaster scene on as a gel eyeliner <laughs> just go from the inside corner look down as you do it go from the inside corner all the way along and then from the outside in to meet it at kind of the midpoint so to do your flick really really easy kind of lay your blush lay your brush flat and then just follow it through and the same on the other side this is where it takes me forever And I almost hold my breath when I do my eyeliner. No idea why. Um, so we're going to tame the beasts now. The old uh, eyebrows. And I have to do this, I have my archery, soap and glory, um, eyebrow pencil. Real Techniques Eyebrow Lash Groomer. I love it, this is really good. Uh, and I'm just going to brush my brows up and then down into a shape. And the same on the other side. So I'm going to draw upwards. And through into a shape. Now these aren't going to be huge brows because like I said, I've got to wear a cap to work. So. And then I'm just going to brush them through again, just to get rid of any like, because I've used a crayon, just to get rid of any like telltale signs that I've used a crayon, so like actual parts of the pencil. Nice eyebrows. Okay, mascara. I'm first of all going to curl my lashes using my Imite eyebrow curlers. Right at the base, squeeze, bounce a little bit and then pull back as well. Okay, and then mascara, I am using the Avon Super Extend, Super Extend Eye Accents Mascara. It's a brilliant mascara. Really, really the brush is like that. Really thin brush, or thinnish, which means you've got a bit more control. And this is in color black steel. So that's eyes. I hope they look all right actually okay powder so whoa I've got the body shop all-in-one face base so under my eyes first just to set my under eye concealer and then I'm going to bronze as well now the bronzer that I'm using is one that I got in my glossy box. This is HD Brows bronzer. It's really, really good. Really uh, matte, so it's got like no sparkle in it. No, um, won't flash back. And I'm just going to bronze. So to bronze, you go on top of your cheekbones. So whereas with contouring before, we went underneath to create a line. This time, to, for it to be more natural, you want to go on top of the cheekbones and almost in a W shape like that because that's when you're sunbathing that's where the sun would hit first okay and then on my cheeks I am using my accessorize um, blusher in scandal I think they've stopped making this one I like it because it's really nice and shimmery it's like a pinky shimmery colour but it just still gives your skin that kind of healthy glow. And then lips. Now, this season, autumn, winter, this year, oranges and corals are a really um, 
trendy colour. So I've got um, a Flora lip liner, a waterproof lip liner in number 226. It's a really like rusty orange colour and what I'm going to do is colour the whole lip in with this. Then I've got a Colour Sensational Cream Gloss by Maybelline in the colour... I don't know, this is the one that rubbed off, wasn't it? Ah, Naked Star 610. I'm not sure if they make this anymore. They might make something similar. And I'm just going to go over the top with it. So, that's what that looks like. Quite nice, I think. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you don't like it, don't like it. If you like it, like it in YouTube and all that jazz. If you are a fan of what I'm doing, then please, please, please uh, make sure you like our page on Facebook, which is Makeup Shizzle. Uh, I will put the link in the description box. Make sure you also hit subscribe, which I think is down here, may even be down here. It's like a little red box. Subscribe on YouTube. Uh, when you're watching this film. Um, have a brilliant day. I'm off to work. Uh, I want to be doing this as my job. I don't want to be. <laughs> anyway, I'm thankful for a job. Let's not get into that conversation. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day and I will see you again soon. See you later guys. Bye bye.